Hi there, Coach Sandy Mills here. So today I wanted to share with you something that's been coming up for me that um, I noticed in people that I would like to help them have a better outcome with. So if you see someone winning at something or gaining at something or making a whole bunch of money, do you, how do you feel about them? Do you feel envious? Do you feel jealous? Or do you feel like, yay for them and you really celebrate? Because what I want to tell you is if you have that skill already, celebrating other people's wins, this is a skill I learned back in 2002 from Peak Potentials Training. And they teach you, and this is what I want to share, is what you focus on expands. And so if I want more in my life, and if I feel jealous of that person, I'm just going to get more jealous in my life, which is a negative emotion that takes us below the line. And so I talked before about that. So the things below the line, everything serves us. It's either a measure or a pleasure, let's say. So it's either infecting our life or affecting our life positively. So celebrating other people's wins brings more of that into our life because what we focus on expands. So again, we have all through the day, every single day of our life, we have the opportunity to measure our thoughts, our feelings, and our actions. We are not our thoughts. We can decide which thoughts we want to use, which ones we want to put in our recipe for our life. It's just like you go in your cupboards to make a recipe. You've got cayenne pepper, you've got salt, you've got sugar, you've got vinegar, and you're going to make cookies. You choose which ingredients you're going to put into your cake. Same thing with your life. you got thoughts that come into your head, if it's vinegar and you don't want to use it, then decide what you want. So if you have a negative thought, just change your thoughts to good. Just like if you're in a grumpy mood, you can just decide. First of all, you can discover why you're in the grumpy mood, see if it serves you. And here's another great one. I love this one. Mind your own business. This is such a gift and it's a beautiful thing. It sounds kind of rude, but if you say it in a fun way to yourself, and this is a self-taught tool, uh, self-use tool, I should say. I learned it from Peak Potentials also. But if you can say, mind your own business to myself, then I don't get caught up in all this energy of other people. And as a life coach, it's a really big, important part. And it's also very important for me to detach from other people's outcomes. Because in the beginning, and I was attached to people's success, and if they, if they didn't do it, I felt like a failure. But guess what? It didn't have anything to do with me. It was their choice. And so I could just choose to come back into myself Visit what it was in me that I wanted to work on in myself, what tools I wanted to apply to me, and then go forward from there. So minding our own business is a real gift. And it takes away all the judgment too. So if we think people are judging us, that means we're already judging them, saying that they are. So that's down in J. So in the, in the ABC life skill tools, all of these words that come out can have a positive or a negative effect on us. And I call it, again, I call it either affect, I did buy a new pen, or infect. And it's, you just keep asking yourself in your mind, what do I want? What do I want? Okay. And that mind your own business is actually up here. It's a positive thing. And again, we self say it. We don't tell other people to mind their own business. That, that's in the negatives and we want to be in the positives of what we do. Um, the other thing is detaching from other people's outcomes. Detach from other people's outcomes. And now this above and the below the line thing, again, it happens all day long. And we wake up every day with a fresh start and we get to decide. Yay! Today's a new day. And if we wake up grumpy from bad dreams, same thing. We have this ability to take our thoughts and decide if we're going to put them in the recipe of the day and the next day. Or if we're going to decide to just put those on a shelf for another day. Or just not use them at all because we're using the positive thoughts that we want. So if you have a negative thought, there's always an opposite. So choose the opposite and just decide to go on with your day with that. And have an affect on your life. And that's the fill your bucket first thing too, right? So we fill our bucket with the joy 
and the happiness that we want, then we're going to attract more of that into our life. It's literally a magnetic field. There's so many videos and tutorials, YouTube. There's uh, shows on Netflix you can watch like Tony Robbins, Brene Brown, The Secret, uh, the movie called Heal. Uh, lots of inspiration out there, uh, videos you can watch. Um, like I said, also on on uh, YouTube, just, just let your intuition lead you and find evidence for these things that our thoughts create our reality and that we can choose our thoughts and choose the ones we want to come into our life. And so um, the other thing with judging people is is that that means we're judging ourselves too. So uh, if we want, there's three things going on. So one is we're judging other people. Two is we think other people are judging us. So then that's that circle that comes back around that says, I'm judging them thinking they're judging me. And this is another cool thing that Peak Potentials taught. And they said, what makes you think that people are giving that much attention to what you're doing? And so for me, this was a breakthrough moment for me because I used to be so nervous, terrified, just to walk into a room. I don't even know why, but I felt like I was gonna do something dumb, so I was judging myself. And so I would be apprehensive. I would I would put my hand in front of my mouth when I talked, like anybody that knew me back in the 90s, this, this is how I talked. I was so self-conscious and nervous, and, and <clears throat> those are ebbs and flows that went through my life. And when I discovered these tools and I learned about myself that it doesn't matter and I can do things messy or because I did a, t a testimony today, I kind of dressed up a little today. I'm not just in a sweatshirt and a hoodie like, uh, I mean a hoodie and jeans like usual. I, I'm just going to make a video. And so whatever it is, do what it is, be where you are and meet people where they are. So that's where this is coming around to is to meet people where they are and to be gentle with ourselves. So if we're being hard on ourselves, we're just going to automatically be hard on others. And I noticed this about myself when I was going through a really tough time in my life, um, very, uh, like in a lot of anguish because my dad was suffering with Alzheimer's. I found that I was hard on people like waitresses and, and people at, um, you know, that I was buying something from, I was just this kind of nasty person and I was taking out my pain on them. And I knew better, but I didn't do better. So I want to invite you to notice those things about yourself and just to see if you're taking your pain and you're putting it on other people. And I regret doing that. And I, what I've done for myself is commit to paying it forward in a way that um, I can't go back. I, I, if I see those people again, I definitely will. But um, to forgive myself for doing that and then go ahead and pay it forward on their behalf that, uh, that I'm going to share these tools and that I'm going to be kinder to, to people in the future and notice myself if I'm, if I'm taking my suffering and putting it on other people and to um, either infect people or affect people. And so again, judgment is down here and acceptance is up here. So the best way to accept other people is to accept ourselves and Accepting ourselves also brings in the fill your bucket story. And as we fill our bucket and we can give compliments to people, genuine compliments, and we start to see and feel the good in other people in us. And it's, it becomes this beautiful flow that just, just perpetuates wonderful things in this whole world. And that's what we can do. There's science behind just pushing thoughts out, positive thoughts for people healing in prayer, in hope, in, you know, in worldwide uh, conscious thought that actually lowered the crime rate in the whole world uh, on a certain period of time. They did this study back in the, I think it was the 70s, stuff like that. I love that kind of stuff that um, there's science behind and there's proof behind and there's research behind and there's statistics behind it. And whether there is or isn't that, it is what it is. And so again, we meet people where they're at. Um, we decide to be who we want to be and, and allow people to be who they are and detach from other people's outcomes, detach from other people's outcomes and mind our own business in the most gracious way. Okay. And grace comes with giving a compliment and also receiving a compliment and that if someone gives us a compliment, if we say thank you, we've actually returned a compliment to them by hearing them.
Because if someone says to me, oh, I love your belt. That's a beautiful belt you're wearing. And I go, oh, I love your belt too. And maybe they're not wearing the belt, but do you see how that lands? I, I just like boomerang back their compliment. And they're looking at themselves going, oh, she didn't even really listen or acknowledge me because she's just talking about. So, but that's our insecurity. So that's what I want to want to bring us into this state of the self-confidence, self-love, self-acceptance, where filling our bucket first allows us to, to live in more grace. So, oh, I've just shared so much today. So I'm, I'm just going to cut it off here. I'm just excited. I love sharing these videos every week. And if you want to uh, jump on a Zoom with me at 7 o'clock, I'll be on the Zoom and we can chat there and, and um, I can answer any questions you have. So thanks for watching. Bye.